Hello everyone and welcome back to another renovation vlog. I hope you're all well, I hope you're not bored of me yet. I'm at the house, it's a Monday, and I thought I'd show you all the new things that have been done. I think speed is gonna pick up a bit this week because our project manager is back from his holiday. I'm in the bedroom and I'm not sure if I've shown you the handles, but we got the same ones that we have in the kitchen and I think the brass looks really nice on the pink. We've got like little ones on the little cupboards and long ones on the rest. Also, the shutters are in. I decided not to go for the center rods, you know, the things that you use to open and close them, because I'm not a massive fan. Although now I feel like it looks really, they look really wide to me. I'm not sure if that looks strange, but anyway, shutters are in, very exciting. Gives a very different like look and feel to the room. And um, we didn't want, like, we might put curtains actually in the bedroom, but we didn't want curtains downstairs. We've got the same shutters in the lounge. So really happy that those are in, and they look very smart. Are you ready for the next exciting update? This is the inside of our front door. Sorry, you can't really see. Let me see if I can like come closer. We painted it in um, little green paint, Mr. David, I think it's called. Um, I'll put all the details down below of what it, in case that's the wrong name. But I thought it would be nice just to do the inside of the front door, bright yellow, so that when we walk down the stairs in the morning, it's nice and bright and cheery, and it really brightens up the hallway. We're not doing the front um, of the front door yellow as well, but I really like it with the white and the black banister. I think it looks really cool. I'm really happy with it. Also, over here is something I've been waiting to show you guys for ages because we've been talking about this for so long and like testing it and measuring it and it's finally up. <laughs> so we wanted to have a sliding door um, to our downstairs toilet because there isn't door to, if there isn't room to have a normal door opening. Also, I think it looks really cool as like a feature. I wanted a sliding barn door. I'd seen some stuff on Pinterest that I like and I really struggled to find anything. There's a company called gelled when and I know them well because they do like all different kinds of doors I've come across them millions of times before um, and they actually got in touch to say that they were bringing out a range of sliding doors so they very kindly gave me this door which I'm over the moon about it's part of their new range which is called the curated range it's actually coming out in October so it's not out yet I will put all the details down below in the description box if you guys want to check it out um, because it is coming soon but I apparently am the first person in the country to have the sliding barn door. So I feel very honored and very excited and I'm so glad that it fits and it looks great. But let me show you the door close up. So at the top it has this runner in black which looks really smart and then this is the door which I really like. It's got this kind of tongue and groove down the middle and this is how it opens. I can hear Rich at the front door. Very smooth and that's going to take us inside into the toilet and then this side of the door I'm gonna paint dark to match the inside of the bathroom. And actually I was worried about the, the privacy in this room, but look, once it's shut, there's no gaps. So we don't need to like fill it or anything. There's literally like no gap there, so that's perfect. Rich is gonna wonder where I am. Hello. Wow. They've painted the cabinet that the washer and dryer are in. So this whole bathroom is going to be this dark grey colour, which I really, really love. It's called Paris Rooftops. It's from Paint and Paper Library. Also, if you guys remember this spout, it was too long. Ripples, actually. This wasn't meant to come for months, and it came really fast. I'm really happy about that. Got us another one made. So it's going to be like that. Perfect. Now it goes right over the hole. It's so cute. Look, it's literally the size of my hand. I'm just connecting the hose because we're getting the garden done tomorrow. I'm going to have to come here twice a day to water the grass to make sure it actually like sticks and works. We got this one um, from Amazon, sorry, because my dad has it, it's going to be really good. They're like the flexi ones that stretch out really far. Also, this one's black and it has brass fittings. I mean, talk about being a weirdo, that is me. Okay, I've come to the house to water the grass because we had new grass going today. So I've got a few things to show you. Oh my God, I've just seen a couple of things that I haven't yet seen. Okay, first of all, the downstairs toilet. This looks like it's had its first coat First coat? Maybe two coats? No, I think it's first coat of um, Paris rooftops from Paint and Paper Library. So that looks so nice. I knew it would. The dark grey with the pink tiles. Sorry, it's not focusing. That looks so nice. And then we've kept the ceiling white. And all of the woodwork is dark grey as well. Amazing. The back of the door is going to be dark grey as well. And then I've just seen... <gasps> They've done a first coat of the Hague Blue. Oh my God, I've been waiting for this. Oh, there aren't, there aren't really any lights in here because there's no light in the center. But look, first coat of Farrenball Hague Blue that's gone on. So we've got white shutters, white ceiling, um, but these shelves are also gonna be in Hague Blue, obviously in the eggshell. <gasps> This is very exciting. This is very exciting. I wasn't expecting to see this today. Wow, the fridge is really loud. 
Can you hear that? I'm wondering, maybe when it's integrated, it won't be. But I've just been trying to work out what this buzzing noise is, and it's the fridge. You're right, love. Very loud. Okay, let me, oh my god, my hair is mental. <laughs> let me show you the really exciting thing that happened today. Obviously, this is our first home where we've ever had a garden, which is mega. I feel very, very lucky to have outside space because I lived in a flat for years, so I know what it's like not to have outside space. And we weren't going to do our garden, like I told you guys. I've come back in because my neighbours are outside and it's really embarrassing. And we weren't going to do our garden this year because obviously we can't really afford it. But we wanted to get the messy stuff done whilst the house was still in a bit of a state. So they've levelled out the garden, the ground, and they've laid turf down. So let me show you. So now it looks like this. And we've left these bits empty. We're going to grow flowers and stuff down there eventually. And then at the back we're going to have a shed and then like a barbecue patioed area, I think. Because I just thought, I don't really want the barbecue here. It's a bit much if you're sitting. So I need to now water this twice a day for half an hour. So that's what I'll be doing. Here we go. We're going to have a little bit of summer left when we move in. So we're having like a little housewarming thing with friends. And we're having a leaving party for Richard's sister who's moving to New Zealand. So it'd be nice to have the grass looking good kind of want to get like an outdoor sofa in the sale maybe it feels like a bit soon to get outdoor furniture but because you've got like a little bit of time left in the garden I really want to like utilize it so I might see if there's any sofas in the sale or anything like that getting slight hand cramp at this point <laughs> but it is nice to just sit here and look out at my garden very appreciative right now I've just come to the house to water the garden I'm not going to show you my face because it's been a bad day um, there's not much to show you other than that we've started to paint the woodwork in here and I love it. I also told them to paint on the inside of here because I thought it looked better with the shelves. Um, so this is just the first coat, but I still love Hague Blue. I'm happy I haven't changed my mind. Um, it's so nice. I really love it. And I love how from back here, you're just like looking into the cozy dark lounge and then everything here is like really fresh and bright and white. What have I stepped in? Oh my God, get off. Ooh, sponge. I really have nothing to update you on today because they've just been doing doors. They've been doing doors very well. It's taken him three days to completely get these doors looking brand new. They're old, original doors and they had loads of chips and like all kinds of stuff. And he's filled them, sanded them, painted them. They're looking amazing. This room still needs another coat and the skirting and stuff needs doing. But the exciting news is tomorrow our kitchen will be finished. So it's going to go from looking like this to looking like a proper amazing kitchen with a larder. I'm very excited to see the Herringbone team again. I hope Gary and Leroy come because they're my faves. Um, and it's all gonna get finished. And I don't know if they bubble wrap it or like leave it. I think they clean it all up and they make it look really nice and like basically so you can use it straight away. So I'm very excited. We're gonna be here tomorrow because there's so many people. The electrician's gonna be here. He's gonna be fixing lights and stuff. The plumber's gonna be here. Zip water are coming to like fit the taps and show us how to use them. Herringbone will be here finishing the kitchen and like everything's gonna be going on. Me and Rich are both working from my sister's house nearby so that we can like be here for everything. <laughs> Guys, today is the day our kitchen will be finished. I can't wait. Okay, I couldn't vlog today because there were so many people in the house, but um, I'll show you around now. They put these doors back on in the understairs cupboard and actually we've spontaneously decided to make a little coat kind of hanging in here. So they've put a pole up and they're going to cover this in MDF and paint it. Oh, it stinks in here. Um, and that's where all the pipes and stuff go. So we can put some coats in there. The lounge, I think has had another coat of Hague Blue, but I think they're doing another one after this. Um, obviously dark paint requires a lot more effort to paint. But we've also painted the inside of the fireplace in the same colour. So it's really kind of modern and all of one colour. And then the, the stove will go in there. So the kitchen is pretty much done now. Um, the bottom part of the fridge, there was something going on with the hinge. Um, I don't know, they're, they're more perfectionist than I am. And Adrian, who's the guy from Herringbone Kitchens, was like, I'm not happy with the hinge. I'm going to get another one and bring back next week. So he's great. He li they literally look at all the details. So the fridge is almost finished. Um, we do have to open it this way, which, um, oh, integrate, integrated fridge action going on here. Um, it is a bit weird to open the fridge this way, but it's just one of those things because of how the kitchen's laid out. And then our larder, which I haven't seen finished. It hasn't got the quartz worktop in it yet because there was like, I think the fabricator's van broke down or something. <gasps> oh my God, look at this. First of all, 
spice rack of wow. dreams. This is literally what made me want to have the larder. Look at this for a spice rack, I love it. And then in here, there's three drawers. I think we're gonna ask if these can be painted because um, I actually wanted them to be the same blue color. And then there'll be worktop here. Look and at this. These have got up here, won't they? Oh, I Shelf don't know. Shelves. Oh yeah, of course. Very exciting to have a double larder. Another exciting thing that happened today is our tap. Hot, cold, so this is just the mixer tap from Zipwater. This though, is our actual like boiling water tap from zip water i will link the proper name for it down below but let me show you it's very clever because it has a safety feature on it so like kids and stuff can't use it you can take it off if it's just adults but i want to keep the safety feature on so if you want to use it you basically tap it three times it flashes and then if you want to fill up just a cup you hold it like this and then if you want to do like a whole saucepan and you want to just leave it running you push it back and you can let go Woo! you can see it's steaming up and then the safety feature comes back on again. Oh my God, instant tea, I can't wait guys. I literally, I'm gonna be like, do you want a cup of tea? Who wants a cup of tea? I want a cup of tea. How's the water? Boiler's working. Whilst Rich tests the boiler. Yeah. Um, they've also hung these lights, which are from heels. You can't really see them because they've covered them, but they're like glass pendants. And we went for clear glass just to make the space feel bigger but they're very similar to these ones, which are slightly tinted. They're like the smoke ones. So, sorry, I feel like I'm definitely making you dizzy. Those look really good. Really happy with those. Rich has just found that they put the glass shelves in. This is like proper nice glass. Oh my God, I love that. Look, even the like little brackets that the glass sits on are brass. Wait, I just said the brass brackets are brass, but you know what I mean? Detail, it's all about the detail. We're just in the downstairs toilet. Did I show you that they fixed this and the water's working? Very exciting, whoa, very aggressive water. But I was just showing Rich, if you shut the door, because we painted it gray, like everything is just suddenly gray. I just think that looks so cool. We're now starting to notice all the snagging things where they're gonna have to come and touch it up, but it's looking amazing. And it's all gonna be done in a few days time. We're at the house and I thought I would show you today um, our fancy toilet, which I spoke about in a previous vlog because it's all installed now. We're just been having a play with it and I haven't tested it yet. I think we'll have to wait till we move in, but I thought I'd show you how it works. So this is our Jebberit toilet. I don't know how you pronounce it, but first of all, look how funny this is. When you walk up to it, it automatically opens. <laughs> So that's the first thing. This um, doesn't stay on it. This is just whilst you're testing it. So Rich, go on. I have no idea how to use what? this thing. Yeah. Just show us, because you were showing me before. It's got a remote control. So you have to sit on it to get it to work. Do on business. <laughs> Wait, sit on the side like you were before so I can see. Okay, so it's got a heated seat, which is amazing in the winter. Yeah, it's on. And then show us the... So the... once you've done your business. Yeah. Oh my God. It cleans the toilet. It's just, oh my god, okay. Oh my god! <laughs> How is that? That would make me like jump up in shock. And the hairdryer comes out. Hairdryer to dry it all off. You can basically set your own profile so you can have like a rich profile and a lily profile. I mean, I, I don't know. This is, this is rich is doing. I think you'll be spraying your bum more than I will. Amazing. And then you walk away and it closes. Does it close by itself? <gasps> I mean, hours of fun. All our guests are gonna be wanting to use this one. We put it up here because we didn't want every guest to come over to be playing with the toilet. Oh, I also wanna show you our doorknobs. Let me show you the bedroom one because it looks so nice against the pink. Um, we used Saxon Security, which is, um, if you guys follow the frugality on Instagram or her blog, it's her family company. Um, and I actually got the same ones that she has. I hope you don't mind, Alex, but they're just so beautiful and they really remind me of the doorknobs in my parents' house. So I really wanted to get them. So we've got these on all the doors. They really helped us source these. So they go nicely with the brass hinges. And then in the bathroom, we've got the same ones and then we've just got a really simple um, lock. There were like fancy ones, like bars, but um, we just thought that was cheap and cheerful and looks very nice. 
We're gonna get a little door stop so this door doesn't hit the glass. Good evening, everyone. I haven't vlogged in a couple of days because I forgot to do it last night and then it's been crazy. Today is Wednesday. We move in this Friday, so it's all kicking off. And I'm starting a new vlog Friday because I'm gonna do like a moving in, packing, unpacking vlog. So I kind of need to like wrap this up and I've just realized this is gonna be the last of like this style of renovation vlog where I'm bringing you to the house to see the progress. How crazy is that? I feel like it's gone fast. We started on the 1st of May. It's now the 20, what's the day? 7th, mm. something like that, of August. Um, so 29. I think the whole project was meant to take 12 weeks, which we were like, yeah, right, there's no way that's gonna happen. Um, and in total, how many weeks has it been, Rich, do you reckon? Well, there's been exactly four months. I think it's been about four months, which is amazing. Um, we're just so impressed and so over the moon and it's all finally coming together. Tomorrow we've got a massive team of cleaners coming in. I know we could have done it ourselves, but when it comes to builder's dust, everyone says if you don't get rid of it properly, it just keeps coming back. So we've got like full on like um, industrial cleaners coming. There's a whole team of them and we actually had it when we moved in as well. They're amazing. So that's happening tomorrow, which means once that's happened, you know, no walking with shoes on in here and stuff. No, I'm not gonna be that strict, but very excited. So let me show you what's happened since last time I showed you, I think. The first thing is this light, which is obviously gonna be quite tricky to show you. This is from Heels. They have the most incredible lighting department. I went in, had a good look around, spoke to the lighting expert there, and I decided I wanted a big like feature light. This room is gonna be like the interesting room. It's got dark walls, it's gonna have loads of pictures on the wall. I'm gonna th think I'm gonna get a big circle mirror there. So I went for the brass um, mega junction light with these kind of long bulbs and I absolutely love it. Second thing to show you, this concrete shelf, which I got from Amara, a website I've recently discovered. So great, I feel like it's like the net a porter for homeware and I really like this concrete shelf. I think, you know, we couldn't have a fire surround because it was too small, which is what I wanted. And I didn't want a plank of wood because to me that's like a little bit kind of country living, it's not really my style, and I thought the concrete grey would look really smart and modern, but it means that I still have a bit of a mantelpiece. I can put candles on here, and when it's Christmas, I could decorate it. Um, so that's that. Next exciting thing, there's so many exciting things to show you. Our stove has gone in. So we use a company called Stoke Limited, and I'm so impressed with them. They've been so professional and kind and helpful. The guys who work there are really, really lovely. They've been here a few times to measure up, so this is all like the fire safety stuff that has to go around. Um, but this is why we didn't tile the inside in the end, because as you can see, there isn't much space actually around the stove. I think this stove is from Charwood. I'm gonna put all the details down below in the description box. I love the shape, it's very modern. I'm so excited to have a wood burner. I grew up with a gas fire, but Rich had a wood burner in his house. And it obviously just gives the most amazing like roaring fire. And I feel like at Christmas it's gonna be amazing. They've also put our TV up, it's wall mounted. Um, we've got these handles here for now, but actually I don't think I was gonna use these handles. Um, they were just spare from the kitchen. I need to find some handles, haven't yet decided on that. So that's the fireplace and the shelf. Shall I step back and show you what it looks like properly? So that's kind of what it looks like. And I love it. Rich, do you like the shelf? It is quite like a bold move. It doesn't look, yeah, it's small, I know, but then it's also like, that is the right size. Oh my God, they've taken the flooring up. Feel it. Oh, it's warm, the underfloor heating's working. So this is our floor, I can't wait to see it. They're testing the heating, so it's boiling in here, but not complaining. So we've put these handles on the sliding door. So that is done, we can now, I need to get a lock, um, but that's done. Also bought this shelf from Amazon. I'm gonna paint it the same gray as the walls, but it's basically, it's actually meant for toilet roll, but I wanted a shelf for soap and to hang a hand towel because obviously the sink doesn't really have anywhere for that. So I bought this from Amazon for 25 pounds and I'm pretty happy with that. So we've got that and then the toilet roll, the toilet roll holder's gone on this side. Um, so pretty much ready, just waiting for the flush down here. Okay, the next update is coming at you from upstairs. And just above the stairwell are these lights. Oh, it's very difficult to focus on lights. Basically, these are the brass pendants from Heels. So three brass pendants that we've put at different heights and then the bulbs are absolutely incredible. I think they're hand blown. They're all like slightly different shapes. They've got these amazing like light 
going through it and they're so special. I feel like if you come upstairs, you instantly see them and it's just a really gorgeous like centerpiece, but then it's not, it's not massive. Look, if I kind of show you this center area, I knew that I wanted a light hanging down from up here and I'm so happy with these, they're so gorgeous. So in the bathroom, the sinks have gone in. Well, there's lots of things that have gone in here. So the Caesar stone worktop, which we had kind of flush with the drawers, and then it goes all the way across to the wall. And because the drawers don't go all the way across, it creates this kind of floating shelf. So we have another piece of Caesar stone quartz down here. And this I wanted so that I could put like muslin cloths and you know, you guys know I love storage. Anywhere I can get more storage, I'm up for that. This would have just been a wasted space otherwise. So it kind of looks like that, which I love. This um, we also got from Ripples, goes with all the black matte black. It wasn't meant to go here, it was meant to go downstairs, but I decided I wanted it up here for a towel. So like when I'm washing my face, I can dry my hands and dry my face there. And then these are the sinks and the taps. Now I wouldn't say the sinks are like the most, you know, trendiest Instagrammable sinks ever. You definitely see kind of pink, matte pink sinks and like really cool sinks. But I had some requirements. One, this is our main bathroom. If you want it to last, I don't want it to go out of fashion. Also, I wanted a big sink. And I like it when you have one tap, you can kind of adjust to the perfect temperature. I hate it when you have a cold and a hot and you have to like mix them. Or if, even worse, when you have like two separate taps, that really annoys me. Also, to have taps coming out through the sink is a lot more work for your plumber and it's gonna cost more money. So we just went like safe with having a tap that just comes out. We knew this would be really easy for our plumber to fit. And also it looks so nice. I love the matte black. I love that these are matte black. I don't think I even realized this was gonna be a thing. And they're just like push clothes. I think they look so smart. Rich, do you like the sinks? You haven't seen them yet? Yeah, I do. Cool. Which one's mine? This one. Yeah, I think this should be mine because then I've got the they towel can... and I've got the muslin cloths. Do they work? Yeah. Oh, does that work? Don't know. This is so scary to think that we're going to be living here in two days' time. So, products. And then that one. The bottom one closes easier. This has got a lot of space Need for activities. No. So you push it a bit and then let go? Yeah. I just love the like, yeah, the quartz. You do your inspection. We're just saying how we feel a bit like, I think <laughs> underwhelmed is maybe too harsh of a word, but like, you know when something's been building for so long and then it comes and you're a bit like, not ready for it. Like, I feel, a bit nervous like when we moved into our first flat and I was like, am I gonna be homesick? Like, it doesn't really feel like my home yet and I know once my furniture's in, it will. But it feels weird and I just like feel nervous. I just wanna get my stuff sorted and like I want it to feel like home as quick as possible. And I wanna get to the point where I'm like enjoying living in it and I'm not just like seeing all the snagging problems because I'm like in renovation mode right now. I think when it looks clean, it'll feel different. Someone commented saying that my Hague blue looked different to theirs because it has this really nice like reflection of light. And I think it's because we went for Modern Emulsion, I think that's the one we went for. It's not the matte one. I don't really love the matte one. Sorry, this focus is terrible. I think the matte paint is too chalky and I like the one that has a sheen to it. It's much easier to clean and I like the light reflection. It makes the room feel bigger. So I'm very happy with the finish of the Hague Blue paint. Okay, am I gonna vlog again tomorrow? Yes. I'm gonna vlog tomorrow night when the kitchen will be fully done. Everything will be clean. That's crazy. And then I'll start a new vlog on Friday when we start moving in. I can't believe this time is really here. It feels completely strange. Especially because you guys aren't up to date in real life. You are like three vlogs behind. So I feel like no one even really knows I'm moving in this weekend, which is strange. Guys, let me show you the lighting and the garden. Okay, Rich has turned it all off. Okay, go. Woo! Okay, so look, we've got like a few lights in the beds and then lights the decking that looks really cool now we've got a grass and then we've got the ones on the side of the house as well <laughs> i love that also this up light under the tree that makes that tree look good okay this is it the cleanest of been there are a few things that are probably standing out now there's some paint on the floor that we can't get out and sadly our slate tiles in the bathroom 
look like they've been destroyed and I'm just hoping they haven't. I think we might have to hire like professional stone cleaners, but I will show you that in a minute. Apart from that and a few little snagging bits, the house is looking unbelievable. It's so nice to see the floor again and just so exciting to be here and it feels like a proper house. So let me show you. The radiator is back on show and today we had our carpet runner fitted. It looks so smart, I'm so glad I went for a runner. I did go for one that was slightly wider. I basically just showed him where I wanted it to go. I think when they're too narrow, it's difficult to walk up. So I went for quite a wide runner and then it just stops at the top there. So I love that. The floor is back and it's looking amazing. So there's like a few things. We need to like fill a bit there. Um, what else can I show you? Okay, so the downstairs toilet. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. First of all, the grout was black, but hopefully with some cleaning that will come out. But the actual tiles themselves, they're just like, they were all dark gray and the cleaners just said they couldn't get this out. So kind of distraught and trying not to freak out about this. It definitely does not look like what it was meant to look like and what it looked like when they first went in. So we're gonna look into that. Um, everything else in there you guys have seen. So then let me take you in here. We've just put the rug down. This is from West Elm. I absolutely love it. It's got like a little bit of pink in the middle and then the rest is kind of neutral colors. We've put this down because the removals guys are coming tomorrow and they're gonna put the sofa here and we wanna just have this down ready. So this room is pretty much done. Fireplace is looking amazing. I can't wait to start like styling these shelves and eventually get a mirror and maybe do like a gallery wall up here. So exciting. And then look, oh my God, the floor looks so good. And we have a kitchen, a like big grown up kitchen. This is unbelievable. It just doesn't even feel real. We have flowers here already because I was at a Jo Malone event today and I made my own bouquet. So I thought I'd bring it over. So the kitchen is done and I will do a proper before and after kitchen tour. All that sort of like good content I really want to make, even though you guys have seen this whole process and you probably feel like you've seen the house already, I want to do like a proper kitchen tour once I've like filled it with stuff and I've got used to using it um, and really talk more in detail about the kitchen. Um, but Leroy and Gary were here today finishing things off so all the doors shut properly and the shelves in our larder. So I'll probably save showing you in detail um, for that video, but it's done. I've even put my Primark hangers in the wardrobe ready for when we move in tomorrow and the next day. So I think that is that for this video. Um, the next one will be us moving in, which is happening tomorrow and the next day. I can't wait, but my sister in to come help me organize the kitchen because she's amazing at that. I can't believe we're gonna be sleeping here in a couple of days. I can't wait for it to feel like home. Thank you so much for following this renovation journey, being so amazing. It's definitely not over. I feel like now it's done, I can really start talking about it properly and I can show you before and afters and do so much more home content. I'm so excited, it's only the beginning. So yeah, wow. It's been a crazy four months. Can't believe it's gone so fast though, it really has. I'm so lucky I didn't have to live here through it. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.